They were hired 20 days apart in December of 2013. Dave Clawson's first FBS win came over Jeff Munkin, who he was teammates with on the University of Buffalo staff 30 years ago. Gets rid of the ball quick enough to where your defensive backs can react. Tyre Tyler going deep. It's caught down inside the 25-yard line. Tyrell Robinson. Wow. That's the ball. And they come out early in the ball game and throws this ball up in the air. And look, when you got an athlete out there, he's going to make a play. Robinson, great concentration, way to focus on catching this ball because Mustafa was all over him. Yeah, he beat Mustafa 47 yards. A manageable third down here for Army. First carry for Jacoby Buchanan. Earns a new set of downs for the Black Knights. Black Knights into the CPI security red zone. Buchanan, a bowling ball of a back. And he may have lost the football. Wake Forest saying they recovered the fumble. One way or another. Right, what a great job by Mustafa coming up on that safety position. And a guy like Jacoby, you got a swarm tackle him. And the ball just came out. Look at those hands just pushing at that ball. It's a great stand. Tucks it away and gains about five yards. Hartman's first throw is to the tight end, Blake Whitehart. And he's glad to see 85 back out there. Starting to step up. Hartman gives it off, and Christian Turner shakes free. Peyton Hampton got pressure in the backfield, but could not bring the runner down, and Wake Forest picks up 14 and moves the chains again. Wiley talked about Hartman wants it all. Deep ball, Perry! Caught down at the 12-yard line. This is what he does so well. Check out the grab by Perry. Look, just reaching out there, fingertip catch, bring excellent concentration. Big kid, 6'5", 205 pounds. Turner, sprint for the goal line, and he's chopped down a yard shy. And he is the leader. He's going to have to make some big plays today. Back to Turner, and he's in. Touchdown, Deeks. Boy, did they just go down the field in a hurry. Picking up right where they left off. 91 yards in nine plays. Hartman two for two for 53 yards. Turner four carries for 26 and the touch. Matt Dennis stays perfect on PATs on the year. Black Knights converted their only third down chance in the first drive. Third and five. Tyler stumbles and he's going to be spotted a yard shy of the line to gain. They know what Wake Forest offense has done against them. You can understand the call, even if it's a little crazy. They snap it. Tyler hit the backfield, and he's right at the line again. Aiden Reed, that play was busted before it started. The ball might have come out again. On the all-time charts. And blocking on defense for Army is the guy. A long, slow mesh, and the Deacons meshing magnificently. Justice Ellison down to the Army 39, a gain of 17. Right up there, a long time, alongside the all-time great. Uh, there he goes again. Ellison just taking his time, weaving and bobbing, finding a hole by this veteran offensive line for Wake Forest. Feels like something clicked from a confidence standpoint for both these Wake Forest running backs. Justice has some friends in high places, Brian. Oh, no doubt about it. It's good to see Markwell Broughton walk off the field himself. What a spin move, Allison, inside the five, down to the three. Great vision downfield, good cutbacks. A man with a spin move. Clock continues to tick, under two and a half to play in this opening quarter. Wade keeps it on the ground, and there's another score for Justice Ellison. Wow. Slow down this Demon Deacon RPO. Wow, just opening up big holes down up the middle. But Ellison's just doing a great job of finding those holes, hiding them by, behind his lineman. Army and 
Nate Woody. No relation to our sidelines are Wiley. Kane Ballard representing Ballard's well out to the 41 yard line. It's a gain of 11. And yet the score is about what maybe some folks expected 14 0. On third and three to start this second period, it's a first down carry for Army's Cade Ballard. Buchanan falls across the line to Gabe. It's refreshing to see quarterbacks under center, but I don't know about you. Pressure's coming. And this is a prayer, and it's, well, it's dropped. Fourth and six, shotgun. Ballard swings at Robinson. Can he get there? Wow, look no, at the he seat. cannot. Man, Ryan Smender right there. What a game against Clemson. Yeah. Two touchdowns against the Tigers a couple of weeks ago. First home game for Wake since then. They get some subs and they just barely got on the line. It's dropped. Recovered. Hartman escapes. And he's drilled across midfield, but three yards shy of the first. So instead of third and nine, third and 14, Ballard breaks one tackle, but not another. The veteran, Dion Bergen. Now 30 years later, they're leading a pair of Division I programs. And they were hired 20 days apart. Came in in 92 with a new coach. Clawson and the holdovers stayed one year and then were let go. As Ellison goes up the middle. Near the first down marker at 39. That was a great story, try, waiting tables. To meet. He said it was four table rated. Cooker's Bar and Grill, they had great biscuits. On the computer in Dave Clawson's office, he still has the name tag from Cooker Bar and Grill in Columbus, Ohio, to remind him of where he came from. One thing this Army defense does not have is that depth that Wake Forest has, so they need Von Zoo back on the field. Hartman's throw to the perimeter. First down to the 10. Sixth in ACC history with 87 career touchdowns. Hartman again. This one's going to be a sack. He lost a yard. Good play by Peyton Hampton. This, this is going to be a tackle that Peyton Hampton remembers for a long time. He's a senior. to throw on third and goal. Buying time to the outside, completes it. Perry out of bounds. I beg your pardon, make it green. Out of bounds at the one. And he can get it done. All right, up the middle. Cooley stretches it out. It's a touchdown for Wake Forest. Second of the season for Cooley. Wonder if the officials will take a second look at this. Peyton Hampton once again coming across making the play. Look at that second effort. Holding that ball out. I mean, that's the instance where you do it. Fourth down. Who has done an admirable job replacing Nick Skiba, one of the great kickers in the history of college football from an accuracy standpoint. Dennis Smooth down the middle. Wouldn't be surprised if Dave Clawson takes the time out if he needs to get a stop. That ball tipped around. It's caught by the quarterback. And Tyler takes it across the line again and then some. That's a completion and a reception. He knew what to do with it once he got it. Just how they drew it up off the hands of Kevin Pointer. He's not getting away this time. Chase Jones. On the leg of Tyre Tyler, and then Dylan Hazen finished him off. Eight. Wow, what a great game plan coming in this game. Lambert doing a great job of strategy. He was the Purdue defensive coordinator at the time. Brad Lambert beginning his second run at Wake Forest. Was here with Jim Grove a decade plus ago. Getting down the field. How about the big guy? Forced the pitch. Army's only attempted one field goal all season. Well timed pitch. Robinson again has the first down, breaking through the attempted tackle of Malik Mustafa. Well, last year between these two teams, there were 21 points combined in the first quarter. There were 28 points combined in the second quarter. And then all hell broke loose in the second half. Tyre Tyler.
Tyler has another first down and he gets out of bounds inside the 35 and 34. 21 seconds left, one timeout for Army. Ballard throws behind Robinson, or bigger part in Austin, Austin, but the yeah. adjustment to make the catch. Clock stops as the chains will move down to the 20. Clock restarts. No need to spike it. Ballard throws it away. It's intercepted easily. Picked off by Dylan Hazen. And Wake Forest defense stands tall at the end of the half. Wow, Dylan Hazen, what a gift just thrown right to him. <laughs> Being in the right place at the right time. Nine tackles on a day now, an interception. Talk about game planning. Great job by this young man. Just the 14th time ever that Wake is ranked in the top 15. Most of those times have come in the past year or so, about half of them. A.T. Perry, the first catch of the second half, picks up 11. Play across the middle. Long mesh. Hartman pulls it out, looks around, and he gets drilled. Yikes. That might be a targeting. Markwell Broughton. I think it was, came in with a helmet first. Ellison in the backfield, and Hartman bluffs a pass. Tries to leap over a defender. <laughs> Who does he think he is? Oh, my. It's Army defense. <coughs> Linebackers down the field making plays. That's Third down. Hartman pulls it back. Looking in zone. Touchdown, Deacons. A.T. Perry over the top. Going for a swim and a score. All of a sudden, you see Sam Hartman keeping them eyes downfield, finding the receivers, A.T. Perry. Twenty-eight nothing. Wake Forest scores in 90 seconds to start the second half. Brent Davis go with here offensively on third and short. Staying with the quarterback, Tyler. He's got the first down. Just following his blocks, cutting back. After the short game by Buchanan. Tyler flips it outside. It's Ijon Marshall for the first down. Ijon Marshall here. Getting his opportunity to play here. Gets to the outside. That's a rare play. To, and man, has he stepped up to the challenge. And he felt good playing against Army. Had a good game against him in his wake debut last year. Tyler keeps it. We'll move the chains again. This Army offense is finding a rhythm here. This is what they do. Galloped down to the 22-yard line. Pressure coming. Double reverse. Raheem Murphy made one man miss, but not the rest. The loss of five. A little trickery by Army. Pressure in the backfield. Jasheen Davis gets there. Moretzky, good kick, but it fades wide to the right. Plenty of distance from 42, but it's no good. And Wake Forest takes over at the 25-yard line. Hartman looking downfield, wide open man. A bullet on the mark to Keyshawn Williams. Guys, I know I said it earlier, how Sam Hartman just uses all his weapons. Has almost the same amount of receptions on the season. Christian Turner. Well defended. Donovan Platt, another North Carolina native, freshman from Jamestown. With Army's defense and offense is given it. receivers and he connects Jamal Banks inside the five yeah and it's big veteran fourth and fifth year seniors continue to get the job done of choices Hartman has out there 37 yard gain sets up the run from the four it's another touchdown for the Demon Deacons second of the night
for Christian Turner. Runs here, Christian Turner, his second touchdown of the game. That just... Blitzing their way down the field. Dennis to make it 35 nothing. It says how different this Wake Forest team is this year. It tells you a lot. Another fullback dive on third and nine. Taylor Morin standing right around his own 40-yard line. Belkey's boot. It's a good one. Bounces right into the belly button of Morin. And he gets signaled for a fair catch. They really try to break it down 50-50. Hartman to Whitehart for the first down. His dad, Dell, who played college football at Idaho. Hartman zips it downfield. Perfectly placed for A.T. Perry. Oh, what a dime that was. <laughs> Just showing off here. He, he is. I mean, he's in such a rhythm right now. He has great protection up front. He has all day. Tied him with Cam Serenay, Red O'Quinn, and Chris Gibbons for the third most in Wake Forest history. Rising up the charts as the pass sails over Jager Bull's head. 38-yard try from Matt Dennis, the redshirt freshman. Nine of ten kicking field goals this season. And he's now 10 of 11. Jones, senior from the Colony, Texas. Making a name for himself. Good job right here. Good blocking up front. This is a strong kid. Has a 17-3 lead at halftime over the NC State Wolfpack tonight. Carter, Finley, and Raleigh. See if they can finish the drive. They haven't done that at all tonight. Jones going to throw on third and one. He's got Alston, and he's got a touchdown. There goes the shutout as the Black Knights convert on third and short. It's a 20-yard strike from Jones to Alston. Took the ball and just drove it all the way down the field with his legs and now his arm. As you said, where has he been? <laughs> Seven straight games, 15 of his last 16, but only one touchdown thrown tonight. And that ball was tipped. And that's the first deflected ball at the line of scrimmage for Hartman. To the Wake Forest Army series. They didn't punt it all last year. This is the first punt of the night for Ivan Mora. He has been kicking off. Mora's punt for 35 yards. Take your chances when you got them. This is fourth and two, and Dixon is very close to the marker. I think he's got it with a spot. Just needed to get to the yard marker, and it is indeed a Black Knight's first down. Really open up that hole. Pressure coming, and down goes Jones. Bothroyd and Turner both got home for the Deeks. Wow, watch Brothwood here. Use his hands, get around the tackle and just attacks the quarterback. Black Knights have played really well against Power 5 opponents in recent seasons. To throw, Kobe Turner comes with pressure, and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Four wide receivers in the shotgun. Jones is drilled. Good night. Kendron Wayman. Second sack of the year for Wayman. Wake will take over on downs. Getting your opportunity. Trying to hype the exploits of the young man <laughs> in the past, but he probably wants to focus on the future. You're right. <laughs> will Towns is the ball carrier. Both taking over as a starter and then moving back into the backup spot. There's a catch from Grimes. Get your body, get your legs back under you. Under pressure, Griffiths escapes, throws for the end zone, touchdown, Deacons. Wesley Grimes, his first Wake Forest touchdown. Van Dennis, and he sent it through. It's 45-7.
The Demon Deacons in control. There's his first as a college football player. And that's the way you make up for missing that first pass. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> Back in there for Army. And he's looking to throw. Three of five in the air so far. He's got Alston wide open. Isaiah Alston down inside the 20. Recognizing Austin coming across wide open. Just ran by Slocum. From the Army 16 to the Wake Forest. Jones to throw again. Incomplete over the head of Brahim Murphy. 33 yard try. The Honolulu native drills it. It's about to be 50 and 31 since. And that's nothing new. His first two years at Fordham. And everything he said in that press conference, he has done. And it, it, it was like a breath of fresh air because you hear so much talk. And boy, are they getting it done. After the turnover on downs. Army with one more first down. Clock stops on the moving of the chains. Dave Clawson gets his 56th win as the head coach of the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. A 45-10 victory over his old colleague Jeff Munkin in the Army Black Knights.